All right, everyone, next up in our handstand prep progression, this is kind of the goal, right? This is just doing a handstand. A um, couple ways that I like to do it are you're either trying to jump right up if you feel pretty good about your balance and everything, or try to scissor kick up and then straighten your legs. So I'm not very good at either, but I'm gonna try them on camera for you. <coughs> So we're right here. I'm just going to get my plant, flatten my hands, get a nice good position like I'm familiar with because I've done all these other variations. If, it, if you're fit enough to go right into handstands and you didn't need the 80 other videos or whatever I've made so far, um, you probably need a different YouTube channel, not mine. <laughs> okay. Now, from here, we're right here. <sighs> And we got a good position. We're pulling our belly button back toward our uh, spine here. I'm going to try that little scissor kick and see if we can find our balance. Just like that. Um, you can kind of progress through things. Uh, when you get better, you get to decide when you fall down. And that's pretty nice. It feels kind of weird. Uh, again, it feels, I think I mentioned this in another video, it feels almost weightless and it's weird because you're inverted and gravity is going in the other direction. Um, make sure that when you're practicing this, when you do fall, you want to turn out of it. Okay, so you're going to lead with, you've probably seen me do it a, in a couple of these, but you're going to lead with, if I go over, I'm not just... <laughs> I'm not just doing a whole 180 plop on the other side of the ground. If I go too far, I want to turn out. That allows me to land on my feet and my, my shoulder will be pretty good at rotating while I'm, or, you know, allowing my body to rotate over it while I'm going and doing this. <laughs> so that is the handstand. I, I, I've learned how to position my rib cage. I've learned how to keep my hips tucked a little bit. I know to take my eyes and look between my hands to help me maintain my balance. When I get inverted, my wrists, my shoulders, my elbows, they've all become more and more accustomed to supporting my entire body weight while I'm <laughs> inverted. And I can kind of feel it out. I can kind of balance. I can kind of start to use my hands like feet. Um, again, you don't have to do all of just this. We've got a ton of different variations that will help support this for time and time and time again. Um, I will say that you can do handstands other ways. There are other positions that your body will allow you to balance in. But I've walked us through this particular, uh, I guess, progression, but these particular positions, because I think that your body, or I'm very confident that your body will stay together better if you can maintain that good position here, if you are gradually progressing yourself in the, the load that you're putting on your wrist, the time of force that you're putting on your wrist. All of those things can take a really long time. You don't want to just spend an hour one day, <laughs> your first day, doing all of this because your body's just not ready for it. Okay, so take all these videos, gradually work your way up, and I'm sure I'll make some more that will <laughs> pertain to other variations that you can try.